Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today I figured I'd share something with you. Um, got a new meter in. Bought off Amazon for <clears throat> it was thirty two ninety nine with free shipping, so thirty three bucks. Unity uh, UT two ten series mini clamp meter, and um, you know this is what I normally carry with me <clears throat> to do. Um, you know, all my types of different checking that I have to do in my work that I do. Um, we've got capacitor meter. You know, we've got a tick tracer. Tells us if our line's hot. You know, these are just two, you know, they're Harbor Freight meters. This one's a clamp meter I can test. Amperage draws. Um, but the voltage reading, you know, especially with automotive 12 volts, it's not going to tell you if it's 12.1 volts or 12.9 volts. It's just going to be 12 volts. So that's why I got this meter as well. It gave me a little finer scope of, um, you know, what I'm looking for. You know, because, you know, with automotive, there's a big difference if your battery's holding the charge at 12.1 volts or it's holding the charge at 12.8 volts. So these are the little smorgasbord of stuff that I carry and you know for $32 you know this replaces all of them so this one does the fine readings for voltage um, does AC and DC but it's auto ranging or you can manually set it if you want to but auto ranging is fine with me um, and then the amperage draw does AC and DC, which is nice because you can go to Home Depot and buy, well, I would say they're cheap, Klein, $100 meter, and it doesn't read DC load draw. So, you know, having the AC and DC load draw in one meter is pretty cool. Um, you know, this one goes up to 100 amps um, which you know the Harbor Freight one goes up to 400 but I can I can't really think of a time for me when I've needed to read something drawn over 100 amps anyway um, you know so I'll keep those I'm gonna keep them just in case it, it ever arises that I need to read something drawn over 100 amps but I doubt it'll happen so you know got rid of that got rid of that and then you know tick tracer it's got one built in it's right here in the nose um, you know it works good it actually works better than that one of course you know they're hard freight stuff I mean it's not nothing spectacular but um you know it gets the job done for me and then my capacitor meter this one uh, we'll read up to a 200 microfarad capacitor, um, which is plenty for what I work with. I think maybe, two times maybe, I've needed to read a capacitor that was over 200 microfarads. And those are start capacitors on, you know, bigger motors, big motors. Um, so, like I said, you know, I'm not going to get rid of my other meters, but... This will definitely be the only one I'm just going to carry around, you know, especially working on an air conditioner, you know, trying to troubleshoot what's wrong and you check your voltage. Everything's got the right voltage it's supposed to have. Then you flip it up to current draw. You kick the machine on, see how much it's pulling, seeing if certain things are coming on or not. If they're not coming on like a fan motor or a compressor. You know, then you got to run over here and you got to check your capacitors. So, you know, by this right here, you know, I don't have to drag this with me. I don't have to drag that with me and I don't have to drag that with me. And even though these are Harbor Freights and this Japanese overseas or Chinese or whatever, you know, I've spent more on all four of these than I would have with just this one right here. So it's a uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, definitely simplifies things a lot and um, you know 
Let's figure that share it with you guys. I mean, $32, $33 for a meter like this, you know, it. Um, I think it's definitely worth it. So if you're out in the market for a meter or thinking about buying a meter or something, and, you know, you got to, I would say this would definitely be your good all-around handy meter. I really can't see of you know anything else you would need to read. I mean, there's other stuff that I don't usually use, like diode check and you know resistance. And I mean, I I you know I look to see if a circuit is open or closed. You know, and it, you know it does that. You know, audible beep to let you know if something's on or off. You know, that's pretty much the only thing I use my resistance for. I'm not checking any resistors or anything sometimes i do once in a while like you know if i'm checking a uh, element on a dryer or something or a water heater you know i know that you know i'm looking for specific value but anyways i just figured i'd do this quick little review of this um for the price it's i think it's great um also i like the fact that this takes AAA batteries versus this one which takes three First of all, it's an odd number, three button cell batteries. So they're either sold in a two pack or a four pack. So you always got a leftover battery. And, you know, the batteries are like almost eight, nine bucks. You know, and I can just wait till I get a catch a sale coupon. And, you know, basically by the time the batteries die and I'll wait for a sale, I can just get a new meter by the cost it, how much it costs me to replace the battery. So. I'm glad this one has uh, triple A's, but uh, yeah. So if you're in the market for a meter, uh, go check out this one on Amazon. Uh, can't go wrong, especially for the price. All right. Well, I figured I'd share it with you guys. So there it is. Later.